Nobody. Not one soul. FNAF AR releases trailer just out of nowhere. I have like two other videos recorded and another one that I have to record about the books. Uh, Fazbear's Fright number three. But no, FNAF AR just wants to keep doing its thing and releasing information. So, <sighs> another day, another, uh, what feels like another trailer basically. But today, we have the official trailer released by Scott and Illuminix, I think it's how he pronounces it. And my god, awesome. It looks amazing. It will, of course, be linked down in the description, obviously, but we're going to react to it and analyze it right now. I have seen all this before, and my god, it's freaking crazy. I'm not gonna lie, you guys have obviously seen this before, but I'm gonna go through it. Um, and you guys can see my reaction, I guess you could say. First things first, we can see that we can put posters up on our on our walls. We have a Bonnie poster right here saying, Our animatronics have been specially designed to ensure you'll never be alone again. Which is really, really interesting. And then over here, we can't really see this one all that much, but it says, Welcome to the Fazbear Entertainment um, Service Program, which is another super, super interesting thing. Um, so this makes me believe that these animatronics were specifically made for FNAF AR, you know? We can see our little phone down here with uh, what is obviously Freddy Fazbear himself behind some wallpaper. And then another character down there, I'm not quite sure who that is, but we're just gonna go ahead and play the trailer. Up the volume a bit and here we go! So we look towards the closet and there's someone in there, boys. And if you listen super closely, you can actually hear characters whispering. Uh, I can't make out who it is or what they're saying, but it is super, super interesting to, uh, to give it a shot. Mm-hmm. Going towards the closet. Who's in there? So, obviously- Oh! Look at that! I did have a post-up showing these already, but I guess we can just go into them here. So, this- uh, these are obviously secret messages, simple as that. One of them saying, listen carefully. The other one saying, put me back. Another one, together again. And another one, to survive. So, these are all super cryptic, and I'm not entirely sure what they mean. But, I'm gonna take a stab at it, because that's what we do here. Listen carefully. Um, I'm guessing that's not really too much special. Maybe that's just a, uh, a hint towards the mechanic in the game. You gotta listen carefully to see if the animatronics are nearby. Which we do get more information on, uh, pretty soon, but, oh, we'll get to that much later. Put me back together again, I feel like should be one quote together, um, and, you know, the classic line of, I will put you back together, um, it's probably symbolizing that in some sort of way. To survive, I'm guessing you just gotta survive. Uh, that's really my best shot, but we do hear someone whisper, and I do have, um, hold up. So that obviously sounds like uh, Michael Afton, and I believe he also had that exact same quote at the end of Sister Location, but yeah, that definitely does seem like Michael, it definitely does sound like him. Um, either Michael or Afton in whatever form he's in, whether it be Springtrap, Scraptrap, uh, you name it, I'm guessing that's one of the Aftons. We then get a shot of us sprinting through our house, ah oh, god! And then, one of the most terrifying things I legit have ever seen. Freddy Fazbear. What looks like Phantom Freddy, but I'm just gonna call him uh, regular Freddy because it fits better, I guess. Um, he's, he's sprinting after you. You can hear him. Look at that. Oh my god, Illuminix. You mad pro. Can we just give, give Illuminix a uh, well-deserved clap? Because that model is freaking terrifying. So obviously we're seeing this through the eyes of the character, not through the eyes of uh, the phone like we would be seeing, presumably. So, you know, we'll be running with our phone, and then we'll look at it, we'll turn around, we'll look, and we'll see Freddy chasing us on our phone uh, with our hallway in the background, which is going to be so, so terrifying. I gotta figure out how to, uh, to record with sound on phone, because I do know how to record but uh, sometimes the sounds get messed up, so I'm gonna have to figure out that, because, oh my god, I honestly can't wait for this, uh, wait for this game. We run out the door, and then we get the name of the game. 
obviously. Five Nights at Freddy's Augmented Reality Special Delivery. And we already knew that from the Snapchat leaks um, uh, yesterday, uh, but I do have a special surprise at the end of this video involving the Snapchat filter, which I may or may not have gotten a hand on myself, so... Uh, but ho hang off on that thought for a moment, we still have the trailer to get through. So, after the title, we hear this. Okay, so we hear a character shushing us and then saying, Maybe if you are very quiet, I will not hear you. And then we get a coming soon title screen, which I'm super, super excited about, guys. Oh my god, I literally... This this has just been an incredible journey, this AR situation, because at first we were like, Is this really the case? And now we're here with the official announcement trailer, and it's coming soon. God damn, this is FNAF's year. Virtual reality, augmented reality, FNAF reality, 2019. <laughs> this voice we'll get into a little bit later on, but uh, yeah, so keep that in mind. Store that in the back of your mind for a little bit, because we'll get back to that very soon. But that is the entirety of the trailer. Something interesting to note, uh, you know, smash the like button on that video and this video. Up top, you can see all the things we gotta get through, but trust me, it seems like a lot, it's really not that much. If we go down here, we can see that it has a October tag, which is confirming that this is, in fact, an October release. It also has iPhone and Story, so this is going to have its own Story and also be on the iPhone and Android devices. Mobile, obviously, it's a mobile game, and Baby, that is super, super interesting because that is not actually Baby's voice. If we hop over here, we can see that um, the voice actor for Lefty has actually... Um, posted this on Instagram saying, Oh my goodness, so happy to finally get to announce that Lefty is back in another installment of Five Nights at Freddy's. So, so happy to once again get a scare, get to scare the crap out of all of you. Game comes out this fall, play, and be terrified. More, uh, uh, uh. So, the voice at the end of this trailer is confirmed to be Lefty, which, um, I, I have seen a few people saying that it's Baby, but the thing that gives it away, not only for the voice actress herself pointing it out, but it's also this line. Lefty's iconic shh that um, he, she has in Ultimate Custom Night and Pizzeria Simulator. These we've already gone over, it's kind of a coincidence, uh, actually it's kind of ironic that I managed to pause on these, because I did have this post set up so we could go into it, but Next up, we have just a freeze frame of this because I think it looks freaking incredible. And we also have the logo, which someone someone pointed out that backwards it says evil. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but it's there. <laughs> I mean, obviously it's intentional because of the, those are the only ones reversed, but it is really, really interesting to note. But uh, there's not really much to go off of there because it doesn't say who or what is evil. But there will be an evil. <laughs> the Looking Glass uh, Reddit account has been changed to not only be named the AR guy, which is kind of funny, I'm not going to lie, but they also have this incredible, incredible banner, which you bet your sweet behind, your sweet Freddy Faz Bunions, that I will be changing my banners to this, because that is literally the best thing I've ever seen. If they don't make a poster out of that, I'm going to go over to their studio and I'm going to do something bad. <laughs> now, here's the banner in its entirety, and I'm not gonna lie, it reminds me a lot of Joy of Creation, especially Barney lurking outside the window and Freddy bursting his way through the door. Ah, oh, yes, the fan. The fan is coming back. Ooh, this is a lot better. Oh, we can see stuff in a lot more detail. Oh, why didn't I do this before? And I can move around. Oh, this is nice. So, here is little, um, Chica, Mika, Shmika. We've got the exotic photos, and we have the candles from the Walk in Progress video. Um, someone in the comments reminded me what that meant, uh, what WIP stand for, and I can't remember who it was, I'm sorry. But he was Freddy, looking all scrapped up, and just really in a weird state. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how to describe it. Because these definitely are the FNAF 1 characters. This is, oh god, I don't want to do that. This is FNAF 1 Freddy, this is FNAF 1 Foxy, and this is Plush Trap, who is 
in here, I guess. A little bit of self-sponsorship right there. And then this is Chica and the Cupcake. These are the, the FNAF 1 characters, but they are a lot more beat up and scratched up. So uh, I'm not entirely sure why that is. I guess this does have its original story, so I guess we're going to find out in the game, which is coming pretty soon according to the trailer, so I'm super, super happy um, about that. Also, the cupcake looks terrifying. Oh my god. The game also has its own um, Insta Instagram account, which will be linked down below, so make sure to go follow that. They haven't posted much, just some teasers, but hopefully they'll be putting some really, really cool stuff on there pretty soon, so go follow that. I'm already following it, just in case they do something sneaky and release something over there that they... Uh, wooden overall but right here we can actually see what is apparently the uh, official icon for the game which looks absolutely incredible reminds me of the um the fnaf 1 and 2 teasers with old freddy or withered freddy like holding up his hat and then regular freddy with the endoskeletons behind him it, it, it reminds me of that but obviously in the ar um look of the game with all the scratches and beat up plastic and all that stuff. Then we have the renders of Freddy and Chica, which will be in the thumbnail. Uh, the cupcake is, ha the cupcake has a gold tooth because of reason. <laughs> yeah, these are the official models from the game and they look really, really well made. They just look absolutely fantastic. Man, I could stay with these all day, <laughs> but I can't because we have uh, more stuff to go over. Oh my god. Okay, this is probably the most important thing ever. So these right here are actual screenshots from the game itself. So we can see that we'll be um, getting chased down by Foxy, Freddy, and Springtrap. Freaking Springtrap, oh my god. Uh, we can toggle on and off our flashlight. And we can apparently zap the animatronics, like with a controlled shock or something. So that's super, super really, um, uh, <laughs> super wards, I guess. <laughs> Done with their big old glowing eyes, especially Springtrap. My god, look at that model. Oh man, this is gonna be so, so terrifying. There's also a battery, um, for the phone, I'm guessing, or maybe that's for the flashlight. But there is something, uh, we have to keep note of when we're using either the flashlight or the phone itself. Maybe we'll have a phone within the phone, phone-ception. But yeah, these are amazing screenshots, and uh, I can't remember exactly what site they were on, but they have been leaked from um, sources that got the game early to review it and give it some ratings before its release, which, oh my god, this just makes me even more hyped for the game. Oh my god. I'm telling you guys, 2019 is the year of FNAF. And then that's basically all of the AR news, which is still a lot. I, I say it like we haven't covered much, but... Something interesting to note is that Scott did update the mega thread. Um, let me refresh the page because I have had it open for a little bit. Um, seven hours ago. And the AAA game now um, says updates coming next week. So, guys, we have more updates coming very, very soon. Oh my god, there's so much stuff. I think I'm going insane just how much stuff is here. Oh my god, well... Look forward to that, I guess. And also, Illuminix um, website is also back up and running, um, as opposed to what it was like the other day. So this will also be linked down below, as well as the FNAF subreddit. You guys have seen me using it a heck of a lot, and that's just a, that's because it's just super helpful to keep up to date with all these things. And also, this trailer will be linked down below, obviously. And new game, new trailer, new outro. That's right, you guys know. Um, back during the Help Wanted days, and basically up until this video, is that I'd use the, um, the Help Wanted trailer for the outro. But now it looks like we got a new thing to look forward to. Man, I still, oh my god, I can't wait. I really can't wait. And now, guys, we do possibly one of the craziest things I thought I would ever do being a part of this community. If we go on Snapchat real quick, I gotta show you something really, really awesome. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god, this is actually super, super crazy. Ah! <laughs> Boo! Oh, it didn't really work. Hold on. I'll oh, just put, uh, you know, sip in my... Sip in my drink. Ah! <laughs> Ooh, my eyebrows go up and down. So you guys may be wondering how you actually get this filter on Snapchat. And it's actually super simple. All you have to do is go to fnafar.com forward slash hashtag 
in the loop and they all you have to do is put in your email address and there you go you're done uh, all you have to do then is scan the code the, the snapchat code and you've got the filter and it's really really cool honestly this is ah <laughs> I love this a lot unfortunately you do only get it for 48 hours which is a real bummer but I mean I guess that makes sense you can't have it forever but again Definitely go check this out. This is absolutely incredible. And that's it. Oh my god, what an eventful video. I really gotta edit this and upload this because I'm recording this way too late. But, oh man, this is just absolutely amazing. The stuff that we got done today, the trailer, the, um, the filter, absolutely incredible. I'm super, super hyped for the game. Hopefully you guys are too. And, you know, subscribing would be nice because I definitely will be playing it on the channel when it comes out. So thanks everyone so much for watching and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.